everybody, I'm Alison. Today I'm going to be interviewing Elise Hello. and she does psychology with French. It's just to get a feel for what psychology is like and if you're interested in studying it here at Dundee. So let's get straight into the questions. The first question is, what are your exams like? Before psychology, I have one exam every semester. This year I had one exam which was 47% of my semester. So I had one in December and then I had one last week. So that was April. Aside from that, I have assignments as well. In first semester, second year, I have had two assignments so 20% 15% and then we also do SONA which is a research thing so a lot of lecturers are doing current research right now on psychology so each year you have to do six credits which counts for five percent and then ten percent of our grade is also on quizzes which happen every two to three weeks. For our assignments our word counts from first or second year are normally a thousand to two thousand. We also use APA7 referencing which I find to be quite an easy referencing. For our exams we have to do 50 multiple choice questions in 45 minutes and then we have an hour and 15 minutes to do three maximum 600 word essays. It does sound quite difficult but whenever you're in the moment if you have learnt all the content the multiple choice shouldn't take long and then for the essays for my past exam they were quite broad subjects we were able to bring in all different aspects of whether it was social, psychology, cognitive, anything like that. For French I have no exams. I have a listening element in semester two. I've got orals quite a lot. I have reading, writing and stuff like that. So all of them are quite equal. So it'll be 20% each and then all together that is my grade. How do you prepare for your exams? I'll take notes of lectures and then I'll do flashcards if I can that week or the week after. I use Quizlet as well to do keywords and stuff, key psychologists, and then I just memorise it really and then I watch the lectures back as well because they're all recorded. How much time would you recommend to devote to your studies? Like how much time do you devote to studying psychology? We've been taught to do one to two hours per hour of class. So I try to do an hour maybe after class. I'll look, look back at my lecture, make sure all my notes are up to date. What for facilities for studying do you use on Dundee campus? I always use the main library. I have used furniture before, the library in there, but I always sit in the ground floor of the main library. Yes, yeah, so there's four floors in the main library mm -hmm. as well. There's a mix of study sections. There's like the quiet section, there's the group study section, there's mm -hmm. the silent section, there's the law library. There's lots of different sections and you can just go to whatever suits your studying. There's also rooms you can book and there's big bookshelves in the library with all these different resources that you can use. There's computers and a cafe near by the lara bar things like that so everything you really need is on campus yeah. how does the grading system work so it goes to a1 to i think complete fail so a1 to a5 is a first b1 to b3 is a 2 1 c1 to c3 2 2 and then d1 to d3 is a third then after that it goes into the m so there's a marginal fails complete fails stuff like that to pass you need to get a 10 out of 23 so an a1 is 23 and then so on and what are the different psychology degrees that you can do here in Dundee. So with psychology, I do psychology with French, so you can do it with French or Spanish if you want to do languages. You can also do a joint degree, so you can do psychology and history, I think psychology and geography, economics as well. So there are certain degrees that you can do with psychology. It is more work in third year and fourth year, but up until then it's all equal weightings. What are your module choices like? So for psychology, we have to do three modules each semester, and those can be a lot of things. So I do psychology MA, which is humanities based, whereas you can also do BSc, um, which is science -y stuff. So in first year, I chose Aussie psychology, French, and then two humanities, like as well as that, all of, all, of, all of first year. So I did human features, making memories. And then this year, I did the same. I chose humanities. So I had a gender course, and then an American culture course. My friend Bonnie, for example, she does psychology, economics, and she's doing an internship module right now. In fourth year, you choose whatever modules you want. So there's different aspects of it. So you can do biological psychology, social psychology, psychology based on kids and stuff like development, you do sports psychology. So there are a lot of options in fourth year to narrow down what you want to go into. What is your timetable like and how many classes do you have per week and what are the hours like? For psychology, I've got four hours a week. I've got three lectures and then one workshop. So the workshops, then we do like your research skills and stuff like that. So you'll be focusing on the more sciencey side of psychology, looking at different studies and how to use SPSS, which is a stat program for French again four hours all in person and then I've got three to four hours with other module as well.
What textbooks are necessary? So for psychology, they use the same textbook in first year and second year. I didn't personally buy it myself because we didn't have to buy it. It's online, it's in the library if you need it. I know people who did buy it, they were able to get second hand quite easily. It wasn't too expensive either. And then for French, the main one I would get is a French dictionary. Be advised to get one because you're allowed to bring it into a lot of your, uh, your assessments or exams. And then actually in grammar, which is an A-level book, I think, but it has all of your grammar that you need for uni. What about societies? Are there any psychology societies for students? There's Tufts. So Dundee Uni Psychology Society. I recently joined the committee, so I am <laughs> so I'm the PR representative. So the society does a lot of events during the week. My friend Abby, she's the social secretary, so she plans any gatherings we do, any fundraising activities. Also every year we have a psychology ball. This year it was in St Andrews. But yeah, so if you want to join people who do your course different years, you should really join the society. Also there's Gaudi families. So Gaudi families is like an academic family. You get a chance to connect with people who are older than you so you can ask them about any problems you have any questions about psychology so thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you find it helpful if you're looking to come to the university of dundee to study a psychology degree thanks very much lisa for letting me interview you yeah thanks for watching guys <laughs>